Hello all. My name is Björn. I have one root in Denmark and also one uh, strong root in uh, India. And I have an uh, extensive background from the 90s in working with uh, railways, uh, transportation, uh, freights. So it may surprise some of you that in Europe we don't have the same language, signaling system, safety system, even gauge Can grid. Can we get the question, please? So India should have an advantage. Now, the good railway minister would know how much it costs to move one person one kilometer in India. The really good minister would also know what impact it has on the environment to do so. And the excellent one would have set a benchmark and a plan to improve it. Now my question is, what does it cost to move one person one kilometer? That's a question. What does it cost to move one person one kilometer on railways? I, I really can't tell you the exact figure, because if I tell you something, I will be just quoting. So yes. it, because it will all depend, because there is a big, huge cross-subsidy, and which the freight subsidizing the passenger. And per kilometer, how much it takes, I can tell you, it would take anywhere between 40 to 50 paisa. And what we charge is less than 25 paisa per kilometer. This is just a very, very rough calculation. Once you know what it really right. costs, question, then you know please. where you are and you can take it from there. Thank you. Next question, please. Hello. Sir, uh, are you going to leave the Trinamool Congress and after that, are you going to join the Congress? Are you going to leave the TMC voluntarily and after that, what are your political plans? Will you be joining the Congress? Honestly, I, I just don't do anything with, with a particular motive. I have done whatever, I sh whatever anybody should have done for the, in the interest of the country and the railways. I'm not, because politics is not a career for me. It is just to, and I'm not being politically correct. It's just you have an opportunity to serve the people, and that's what it is. So it will all depend. I have not made up my mind. And I don't even take it for granted that uh, my party is going to sack me also from my membership. Doesn't matter. Yesterday, of course, they had a resolution that they have condemned that I'm a traitor and this and that. I thank God they have not said I'm a terrorist. Your party said that it so was that a there's plot there's lots of by space the... in TMC for traitors? I really can't comment uh, anything uh, about it. But to answer, I have not calculated. I've just done whatever I should have done. Sir, sir, I just want to. Sir, so I just want to first say that. Uh, just take the lady first, please, and uh, after Mr. that you. Mr. Trivedi, you served under a mercurial leader for quite a few years. How is it that you survived so long? I think you just do your work and carry yourself with dignity, and not ego, but self-respect. And that's what I've always done, and that's what I'll carry into doing it. Yeah. Sir, so, so I want to first say that you make me proud to be an Indian. Thank you very much for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My question to you is that you know how the system works. Um, you have done the right thing in your budget. We also have a prime minister who is a good man, but is unable to do the right thing. So, you know, you know that the writing is on the wall, and unfortunately, tomorrow we will be saying that you, are, you were the, the Minister for Railways. My question to you is, what do you want to achieve out of what you've done, given the fickle society we live in? I, I honestly, like I said, I didn't do, I wanted to just do the right thing. Whatever, as a citizen of India, Whatever, as a railway minister, I should have done under my power to the best of my ability, that's what I have done. And that is why I'm so relaxed. If I had not done whatever I was supposed to do, and if I would have just bothered about my chair, then I wouldn't have been relaxing. Then somewhere down the line, I would have felt guilty about it. So I really now don't much, I don't want to use the word I don't care sort of thing. But it doesn't bother me whatever is the outcome. Honestly, believe me. That is actually the practice of Bhagavad Gita. Yes, since... Uh, go ahead. 
Okay, last question, John. Oh, hi, John, how are you? Good. In fact, he came to my constituency and he had a great experience. I live in his constituency. Oh, yes, next door. <laughs> and we Ganga spent, ke par. We spent an amazing Sunday morning, hot Sunday morning when you were electioneering. What is the point of doing the right thing if it means that you lose your job? Wouldn't it, what is the point of doing the right thing, I'm using the words you just used, if you then lose your job? Wouldn't it have been better to have done half the right thing and been able to stay there in order to implement? Now, which is the half? Which is the half? That you'll have to say, which is the half? If I only knew this is the half, for all you know, what I have done is the half. Thank you all very much. And uh, as, uh, as I, uh, I leave for the moment, I, the thought occurs to me, uh, poor Pranobda, Sachin Tendulkar is going to get the picture tomorrow morning on front page, not the budget. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank, Thank you very you. much.